Whisper is a state-of-the-art speech recognition model created by OpenAI. In this tutorial, I'll explain you how you can perform the transcription of YouTube videos into text using Whisper. This is the general workflow that um, we'll be covering in this tutorial. First of all, we will collect video from YouTube and from that video, we extract the audio content. And with that audio content, we use Whisper model in order to transcribe um, that audio into text. Knowing that we're dealing with a deep learning model, um, what might be helpful is to change the runtime into um, GPU. So come to runtime, change runtime type, and here you can select the GPU. In my case, it's already selected and then save. And right after that, we install Whisper using this pip command. And after the installation of Whisper, uh, the next step is to import some couple of modules. The first one is the Whisper um, module that we'll use. The second one is Torch and the third one is um, operating system module. And the third step that we have to perform now is to um, set the device. Um, so the goal of the device is to be able to use the current runtime available on your operating system. And since we have already installed um, GPU now, we'll be able to use the GPU, which is CUDA instead of using the CPU. So this command is basically telling that the model have to use um, GPU if the GPU is available, otherwise it will be using the CPU. What we need to do now is to load the model. So to load the model, we run whisper.load model function. And in how we use case here, we'll be using the large um, model and set the device to the device that we have initialized here. Then to download video from YouTube, we need the PyTube module that is installed using the pip install command. So I'll run pip install PyTube, which is going to install the PyTube library. And once we have installed the module, next we import the module using the from PyTube import the YouTube. To make it easier to download video from YouTube, I have implemented this helper function. So basically this function takes two, three parameters. The first parameter is the URL of the video that we want to download. The second parameter is the destination, meaning the like where we want to save the final downloaded video. And the final name is the final name that we want to give to the audio that we're going to use. Because when once we download the video, this video is going to be converted into audio. So this is where the final file name comes into into equation. So what we start um, to do is to use the YouTube module to get the YouTube URL, which is going to provide the video content. Then what we do now is to convert this video into audio using the video.stream filter and providing the attribute only audio true, meaning that we're only interested in collecting the audio from the video. And right after that, what we do is to save the final audio into a new variable called outputs, which is going to be saved into the final destination with the mp3 extension. Once we have that, we rename the output into um, the final file name, which is going to be the name of the file we have provided here. So run this again. After the implementation of this function, now let's apply to this scenario. So I'll be using this um, video from YouTube and the same video is available here is a motivational speech which lasts around um, 37 seconds. And what we're going to do is once we have the URL, we specify the destination. That means that we want to store in the current folder. And the final file name is motivational speech. And we use the video to audio function in order to get all these three parameters to convert that video into uh, an audio. And after we have successfully run this cell to convert the video to text, then we use the Whisper model in order to transcribe um, this audio file into text. And the function that performs this transcription is 
the dot transcribe function from uh, Whisper model. So once we have um, performed the transcription, the result is stored in the result variable, and this variable to get the corresponding text, we use take the text attribute, which is going to show on um, the content of the video. And as you can see, this is the transcription of the text, and here is the full content. I don't know what that dream is that you hear you have i don't care how disappointing it might have it might have been as you've been working toward that dream but that dream that you're holding in your mind that is possible and this is basically what is in this video let's have a look at a much more complicated video i mean a longer video um this video is a speech from the um, Ivorian president Alassane Ouattara. So the same video is available on YouTube. It is around two, two minutes long. So let's do the same process. Provide the URL of the video, the destination, and the final file name. And then call the video to audio function to extract the audio from the video. And once we have that, we um, use the Whisper model to transcribe this audio file into text using um, the whisper dot, whisper model dot transcribe function. Now we can show the result using the print, um, the text attribute from the model. So let's have a look at the contents in here. Right, uh, okay. So as you can see, this is the full contents of the speech of the president. Le franc CFA, vous l'avez toujours défendu bec et ongle. Est-ce que vous continuez à le faire ou est-ce que vous pensez qu'il peut être changé, qu'il faut peut-être changer les choses sans rentrer trop dans les détails techniques and so on. So as you can see, this is really powerful. This is the, um, the speech is indeed in French. So this is the content of the president's speech. Um, on YouTube and one of the powerful feature provided by whisper is the ability to convert a, any audio text into English so this is what we're going to do here so what we have to do is to specify the task attributes which is a translation so this translation is basically going to take the original audio text in transcribe that into English so and run this one to perform this transcription and after we have performed the transcription let's go ahead with like the same analysis this time like show French to English and get the text as you can see the final output is French CFA you have always defended it back on <laughs> I think it didn't manage to um, efficiently translate this section. And do you continue to do so, or do you think that perhaps things need to be changed without going into too much technical detail? This is the transcription into English. And as you can see, in the couple of minutes, we managed to perform this audio transcription into text. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also the full medium content will be also available in the um, description section and as usual if there is anything you are struggling with please let me know in the comment section so that i can consider in my next videos and thank you for watching see you bye bye